Okay, yes. Thank you, Reese. Yes, you're very helpful. <laughs> Say hi, okay. Yeah, oh, good dog. Reese, stop it. It's going. Hi, everybody. Merry Christmas. I am hoping that you guys had a great December 25th. We host Christmas dinner for both sides of our family, and the house was filled with warmth, love, and cheer. So, yeah, wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. So, this video is dedicated to how I take care of my relaxed hair. You guys have been following along with me for the past three years, so many of you know um, I've shared my tips and tricks with you along the way. One of the first videos I ever did was how I care for my relaxed hair. It has proven to be extremely popular. I can't thank you guys enough for watching it. But it was also pretty confusing. To this day, I still get people emailing me and messaging me asking me to clarify the steps. So I thought that I would refilm the video and also share with you any new tips and tricks that I've learned and new products that have really, really worked for my hair. So let's get into it. So I wash my hair once a week. That's all my hair needs. My, my hair, I do have a bit of an oily scalp and I notice that if I wash my hair any more than that, it tends to dry out. So I'll show you what products I use that really, really keep my hair hydrated and moisturized and best of all, detangled so you're not over manipulating your hair. These are the OG products that I've been using forever now. They're Joico's Moisture Recovery Shampoo and Conditioner. I really like this shampoo because it is thick and rich and doesn't strip my hair. This shampoo also is, like I said, thick and rich, but it's opaque. I don't really like clear shampoos because it's a sign to me that it's too soapy and will strip your hair. This is loaded with hydrators and conditioners. So I wash my hair three times in the shower. My hair is pretty greasy, so I find that first wash cuts out all the grease and dirt. Then I'll wash it a second time and it's nice and soapy and lathery and I find I'll really work on massaging my scalp and getting all of that dirt off of my scalp. I'll rinse it again and then I'll wash a third time just to make sure it's clean. So after that third wash, I will towel dry my hair. I will use one of my husband's old t-shirts. So I will cover my hair with his old t-shirt and I will squeeze out that excess water. None of this, okay? No rubbing your head furiously with a bath towel. Bath towels made of terry cloth are a bit drying and a little rough on your hair. So that's why I choose to use a cotton t-shirt. About six months ago, I was shopping at Winners and in the beauty section, they had this really, really luxe microfiber. It's a hair wrap. It's really, really great at getting the excess moisture out of your hair. And because it's so soft, it's really gentle on your hair. So it's great at sucking up the excess moisture. I've done a video already on how I use this, but it basically, see there's a button right here. You put it on your head and then you twist it and um, it's got a, a loop right there and it forms this little turban thing there and it's like a little cap. And then I put a handful of the Joico Moisture Recovery conditioner in there. I love this conditioner because while it's not overly thick, it is super detangling. It is the best conditioner I have ever used. I always you know, so I'm a beauty blogger. I get a ton, a ton of hair care products to try out, test out all of the time and review on my blog. But I always come back to this one because it's just so effective. It gets like, it has yet to meet a tangle. It cannot detangle. It is fantastic. Next up is deep conditioning. Deep conditioning is the one thing, like of all the tips that I can recommend to you guys, deep conditioning is the one thing that will save your dry and damaged hair. This is my favorite deep conditioner here. It's Schwarzkopf's Repair Rescue Deep Nourishing Treatment. You guys are probably sick of listening to me go on and on about how great this stuff is, but I am not kidding. It is just fantastic. It's thick and rich and makes your hair super shiny and manageable. So I will take a big scoop of this stuff. So I've got a handful and I'll usually mix it in with the Joico stuff and I will apply it to my towel dried hair. 
okay sometimes I will put a plastic bag over my head and that will heat up the deep conditioner mix and I will go about my business for about a half an hour an hour I will clean the house I will blog I will even walk the dog but that act of leaving the deep conditioner mix on your hair for about a half hour, an hour, just deeply moisturizes your hair and replaces all of that moisture that let's say you have lost over the past week. After about a half an hour, an hour of having that deep conditioner in my hair, I take the plastic bag off of my head and I get back into the shower and I rinse it out. As I'm rinsing it out, I will take my wide tooth comb and comb out my hair. The Joyco Moisture Recovery Conditioner is so detangling that I rarely have to fight with any knots to get it, get my hair untangled. Because over manipulating your hair, which means constantly combing it out, brushing it, flicking it with your hands, when you're always messing with your hair, it, that promotes breakage and you don't want to do that so any products you can use that are easier on your hair really really help it grow the white tooth comb is your best friend also these nice wide teeth cut down on manipulation and they're it's just better for detangling your hair if you don't have one of these go out and get one immediately all right so I have rinsed the deep conditioner out of my hair. My hair is completely clean. There's no product in it. I take my little hair wrap thing and again, I squeeze the excess moisture out of my hair and then I take a leave-in spray conditioner. This is Design Me's Fab Me, the mother of all hair treatments multi-benefit lotion. I love this stuff. Um, this is a new discovery. I've been using it now for the past six or seven months and it is super thick and creamy and it is intensely moisturizing again. Um, I use the most thick hydrating and moisturizing products I can find because it, those really work for my hair. So this gets out any tangles and it also makes your hair a little smoother if you air dry your hair. So this one I really, really love. After I put in the leave-in conditioning treatment, um, I will comb it out one last time with my wide tooth comb. I'll add a little Moroccan oil throughout my hair working on the ends and then I let my hair air dry. My hair air dries pretty quickly. I let my hair air dry for about an hour or two and if in the summer it'll air dry even faster than that. Why do I air dry my hair? Because it's less drying on my hair. That has really been working for me over the last few years. The one thing with air drying though is it doesn't get your hair completely smooth. If you're one of those people who likes to stretch out your relaxers and you like a smooth sleek look, air drying, it, it's hard to get what I call the bubbles out of your hair. So let's say you want to flat iron your hair after air drying. So I flat iron my hair on low, and when you flat iron your hair on low, it's hard to get it perfectly straight if you air dry, so keep that in mind. But keeping my hair on my head is more important than a super smooth, super straight look, so I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't care. Flat ironing my hair. After I let my hair air dry, I use um, this stuff called Indigo's Luster Gloss. It's a spray oil. It's almost like a dry oil. It's not oily or greasy. And um, I spray it all over my air dried hair. Then I spray in the Indigo Luster Gloss oil all over my hair. I would use about six or seven pumps because you don't want your hair to get overly greasy. This also works as a bit of a um, heat protectant it's it's really really good stuff okay so i've got the dry oil in my hair give it one last comb out and then i will flat iron my hair on low so i use the titron flat iron i also have one by t3 micro you can get that at sephora you can get the titron at trade secrets and i flat iron my hair it's got a temperature setting along here 
when you turn it on, the default is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I turn it down to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and I usually pass the flat iron through my hair only once. So you know, let's, let's just say I'm gonna grab this piece and I flat iron it just the one time. So I'm gonna be honest, that doesn't get my hair stick straight, but I'm okay with that. I'd rather have textured hair than dry, damaged hair, okay? The reason I use this is to get the hair as straight as I can without damaging it. Remember what I said about those bubbles from air drying? Using the fine tooth comb before flat ironing it. So what I do is I just comb it out once and then I flat iron and I'll get it nice and straight, okay? I do not recommend that you use this all over your head. It's just too harsh. So my hair is done. I flat ironed it and the last step is this new product that I've been using. It's part of that Indigo line. It's Indigo's Luster Glow Hair Moisturizer. So I take a little bit so you can see it's it's quite thick. This has been a game changer for me. So I've discovered a few new products over the years since I've started my YouTube channel. I would say um, the Schwarzkopf has been one of them, game changer. This Indiglo Daily Hair Moisturizer is fantastic. Doesn't weigh your hair down. Doesn't make your hair greasy or tacky. It is amazing. I was abusing my hair a bit over the summer, just using too many heat styling products, blah, 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 slacking on my deep conditioning routine. This brought my hair back to life. It's fantastic. I will link all of these products in the description box so that you guys can check them out. Um, for those of you who live in Ottawa and you follow my YouTube channel, you can, the only place that sells them is Hair World in the Merivale Mall. So other things that I use, um, my hair is really thick and heavy. It pulls the hair down at the roots, so I don't have a lot of body at the roots, which is annoying because, girls, I like looking like Black Barbie, okay? I like the big, sexy hair, but my roots are always flat. So what I do is I'll tease my hair just a little because teasing can tangle your hair. You don't want to over-manipulate your hair. So I basically just go through like this. Ta-da! Volume. I don't do it frequently. I'll usually do it if I'm going out somewhere nice and I want to look fancy. And yeah, so this is another one. This is by Danny Co. I got this at Sally Beauty Supply. Again, I think it was under $5. Natural bristles though. I really prefer natural bristle brushes. And uh, yeah, so I will tease my hair just a bit at the roots to get that kind of sexy volume that I love. Um, I mainly wear my hair in a bun. That's another game changer for damaged hair. Um, usually I will wash and go. That is that is my go-to and that's what keeps my hair on my head. So I work out a lot, my hair is sweaty. Um, usually I'll wash my hair once a week, um, detangle it, put in all of my moisturizing products. I'll use a paddle brush with natural bristles to just get a smooth, sleek bun. I put my hair into a low bun also. I, I like that look. I think it's elegant with some nice gold earrings. It's a really chic look. And um, if I do flat iron my hair, I still wear it. <clears throat> I still wear my hair up all the time. I'll use a little alligator clip and I'll just throw it up like that. Why do I do that? Because it keeps my hair off my shoulders. The friction from rubbing up against your clothing especially from sweaters, coats, and scarves, will break your hair. And I found that when I started doing this religiously, my hair stopped breaking in the middle. So I had, um, that's the main reason actually that I started my hair, my hair journey, because the middle of my hair wasn't growing. And it wasn't growing because it was breaking, because it was always rubbing up against my clothes. I, I firmly believe that. So when I started wearing my hair up, like almost all the time, it started to thrive. I also live in Canada. I live in Ottawa, believe it or not. Ottawa is one of the coldest capitals in the entire world and Ottawa does not play. Like last 
December, the period between December and January, Ottawa was colder than Mars. It's ridiculous. And I truly feel that cold weather is bad for your hair. So I always wear my hair up, and when I go outside, you better believe that I'm always wearing a thick woolly hat because um, I don't get my hair wet from rain or snow and I don't expose my hair to the really cold air either. I really feel it makes your hair brittle. And it's a known fact, it's a scientific fact, cold conditions are dry conditions which dry out your hair. Another product that I discovered this year is the wet dry brush. It's got plastic bristles that are really soft and pliable and it is tipped, you can see that in these little knobs so it really protects your hair. And it's just fantastic, it's so, like it, they just glide through your hair and they're really, really gentle on wet hair too. So I always heard you don't brush or comb wet hair because it'll your hair is just too stretchy and too fragile when it's wet, but the wet dry brush is really delicate on it. So actually what I like to do is, this is a new, new trick that I've been using lately. So I'll use a deep conditioning treatment. There's one by Renee Furterer that I really, really like, or my trusty Schwarzkopf. And I will coat my hair in it, and then I'll use the wet dry brush to disperse the conditioner throughout my hair from root to tip. It is fantastic at that. Um, I also, once a month, deep condition my hair using natural oils. That is a game changer right there also. Um, I will use a mix of castor oil and Haitian black castor oil and I'll take a little measuring cup, put that in a bowl of warm water. I'll mix the, I'll mix the oils together, usually with coconut oil also, and I'll wait till they're nice and warm and add to your hair. I like to add it to my scalp because sometimes I get dry scalp, especially right after my hair gets relaxed. And then I will just coat my hair in that oil and I'll use the same process for deep conditioning with deep conditioners. I will coat my hair in the oil, put on a plastic bag, and then sit around the house for an hour or two, walk the dog, go for a run, whatever. And deep conditioning your hair with natural oils is so good. Your hair will feel fantastic. Um, every night I wrap my hair. Um, I did a video on how to wrap your hair. I will uh, link it in the description box so you can check that out. I wrap my hair religiously every night. I am so programmed to do it at this point and I just feel like it is, it is so great at keeping your hair manageable and soft. Oh, this dog. <laughs> keep still, keep still, keep still. So when you wrap your hair every night, I use a silk or a satin scarf and I wrap my hair around my head, I will cover it with that scarf and I'll go to bed. And that cuts down on friction because cotton pillowcases will suck the moisture out of your hair and just the act of tossing and turning throughout the night will dry out your hair. So I have been doing that ever since I was little. My mother just instilled that in me and it really, really um, helps my hair. And it really, really keeps my hair soft. A bonus from that too is when you unwrap your hair in the morning and shake it out, you don't really need to do anything with your hair. It keeps it nice and smooth. Since I use quite a few moisturizing products in my hair, it, my hair can get weighed down and dull. I'll use a clarifying shampoo usually once a month. Once a month, once every two months. And I love Paul Mitchell's clarifying shampoo number three. If you try this, don't be alarmed. Your hair will feel stripped. It will feel a little crazy, but that's your opportunity to really deep condition your hair, to give it a good deep condition because the shaft of your hair will be open and clean and stripped of all of that gunk, therefore allowing the deep conditioner to really work and really do its thing. You will notice when you use a clarifying shampoo, after you've done your hair, your hair is bouncy and shiny and fantastic. It just feels really great, no longer weighed down. All of that gunk we put in our hair is washed out. So that's about it. Um, I get questions about hairsprays. I rarely use hairspray in my hair. When I do, I use Elnet. I think it's the best hairspray because it doesn't leave your hair feeling like a helmet, but I'll use hairspray like 
once in a blue moon. I feel it's damaging because most of them are alcohol based. What else? I always put up my hair when I'm working out. You guys will see workout videos that on my YouTube and on my Instagram and I always get the odd person who's like, I thought you always have your hair up. I only put my hair down to look nice on Instagram or in these videos. I will always put up my hair. I don't want the ends getting sweaty because they'll dry out and break. So I think that is it for now. That's basically all I do to my hair. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. You can email them to me, you can DM me on Instagram. You guys DM so many messages to me and I love it. I love answering your questions. So yeah, I really hope that was clearer than the first video. I really appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe to my channel. So I wish you guys the happiest 2019. I hope the new year brings you health, wealth, and love. And again, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Mm -hmm.